Hello, I'm Jane Gower and today I'm going to show you how to make your own collage comic strip. Here's a few examples of the comic strip I've created and I'll show you the full version at the end of this video. Here are the tools and equipment that you're going to need for your puppet. So we've got sheet of white paper, some form of cardboard, flat cardboard, not too thick, or if you've got ordinary white card, that's fine. Some scissors, a hole punch, a good sharp pencil, a permanent marker, a stapler with staples in, and you'll need some split pins, and you'll need about 13 of these. Get the smallest you possibly can. I've got quite large ones here, but you can get them half that size. And that's everything you need. You'll need to start by drawing out your character's figure parts. Now you can draw these freehand straight onto the card if you want to, but I'm going to show you a quick way to draw your figure parts in proportion as a paper pattern first. So taking the white sheet of A4 paper, we're going to fold it into an 8x8 grid. This is quicker than drawing a grid out. First fold in half, then fold the two halves in half again, being as careful and accurate as you can. Now fold the whole paper in a concertina fashion all the way to the top using the folds you've already made as guidelines. You should have eight linear spaces. Now turn the paper landscape and make the folds in the same way and you should end up with a folded 8x8 eight eight grid piece of paper. Lay the paper in portrait and taking a sharpened pencil lightly draw out the proportioned figures. Use the squares on the paper grid to draw out the figure in proportion I fold the bottom part in half again for a slimmer section for the arms and legs. Once you've drawn the figure parts out and you're happy with what you've got, carefully cut the shapes out. In order to create your character in card, which makes a more robust figure, lay the paper parts out onto your card and draw round. Then cut them all out. At this stage, you can draw and colour in the figure parts if you want to. I'm leaving mine as a plain figure without any detail. However, I have drawn an edge around each piece with black mark to give more of a cartoon effect. Now you're going to assemble the card figure using a hole punch and the split pins. For each part that's going to be connected, you'll need to use the hole punch to make a hole near to the edge of each connecting piece. Then use a split pin to push through both holes and open and flatten the pin ends at the back. Do this for every joint point in the figure. It's best to mark a pen each pin top so you don't get light reflection at the photo stage. This is to show you some of the things that you can use that are maybe around the house or that you create to make your backdrop. I've got here some old photographs that I've had or you can print off some photographs. Bits out of magazines for images and text. Postcards are always good. Bits of feather, plastic tumblers fluffy bits, tassely bits, any odd items that you've got left lying around. Uh, bits of fabric will do and maybe elements from outside, flowers, that sort of thing to decorate. You can have bits of magazine to create your scenes. Something spooky like that. Have that as a backdrop or you could even cut that window out and have the puppet sticking out through it. Or you can just start to create your own backdrop like that draw or paint your own backdrop to start the thing off. Here's an example of a scene you could create using some of the materials I mentioned earlier. I've chosen an image from a magazine as my starting point for a background and I'm building up the scene from there. I'm not gluing or fixing anything down here as I'm going to take a photo and may well use some of the items in other scenes. I'm working in portrait for this particular background in A5 size which is double A4 I've also made a black paper for edging to frame the whole scene. To build your story through each scene or frame, it's fun to add speech and thought bubbles for your characters. Maybe some noise and scene setting text in different colours as well. Once you're happy with the results, take a photo. You can always enhance the image later in a photo edit. It's great to share on Facebook or Instagram or other platforms. And you can build up a series of scenes to tell a story. 
Here's the finished piece that I've made and some other scene examples I've developed. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you feel inspired to go and create your own fabulous comic strip stories. One gloomy day. Fed up with all the bad and sad news. Get me out of here. Okay, so where to? I don't know. The bump track. Flippin' heck, I can't do this. Ah, no, help! Let's go. Back to school old style. Yes, sir. No, sir. Glad I'm not at school in the old days. Can I go now? Okay. How's about the festival then? I'm loving this. Oh, I'm tired now. Something to chill out? <gasps> Park life. Mmm, this is the life. Happy? Can I go now? Back home. Wow, you must have fallen asleep. Gonna make some good new scenes.